These tables that we are going now to see and to discuss relate to the release of the terrorists which took place really tonight, which is already the sixth day of Purim. And we see the date coming here. So, what we see here is very interesting and clearly proof what is written that is nothing which is happening which is not indicated in the Torah. Yeah, the Torah, we know, as we mentioned, is a blueprint of creation, as the Kabbalah says. And everything is in the Torah. It was a program, really, of the creation. So what we see here is the following. We were looking for the best meeting of the verb Shichu, which is the release of terrorists. You see, Mechabli Minibu. So you have the word Shichu, the release of terrorists, Mechablim. Now this was the two words, definitely, which is the main ones. And it was found in the book, in one book really, which is Numbers. You see, this is Dalet, which is the fourth book. And in fact, it is interesting, it goes from chapter Kafchet 28 which is verse you'd bet 12 and it goes up till the same book definitely one chapter more kaftet 29 the chapter 29 the verse so amazingly what we see here all these appearances are in very short place few verses really Two chapters, one can say even one and a half. Now, what we see here also, the number 81, means that every line contains here 81 letters. So really we speak about a small table, but what we see here is the other verses which really are in this table, and we see the connection of it to the time that we are now. So, what are the verses here? Now, in this verse, as you see here, written Bachamisha Siyom Lachodesh Ashvi'i Mikra Kodesh Yelachem on the 15th of the 7th month, which is this month, Tishrei, the festival, Holy Festival will be to you, and this is exactly the day of Sukkot that you are now. It means this is the first day of Sukkot, and the other verses really tell us what is really happening in the other days of Sukkot, in the seven days of Sukkot. So, what are going on these days? So, we know quite well that 70 bullocks, Parim in Hebrew, you see Parim in Bakar, bullocks, 70 were sacrificed against the 70 nations of the world, because the roots, the sources of the whole nations of the world are 70, as the Torah mentioned, really 70 nations. So, Bullocks, Parim, represent the nations, and every day they were sacrificing, started from 13, going down to 7. So, you can see here in these verses, really, the first day, yeah, there were Shosha Sarpari, 13 bullocks. Then it goes down every day, every day, after it comes to the sixth day, which is today, which is really the day that Gilad Shalit is released, and also those terrorists are released. So amazingly, you can see Ubayom Ashishi on the sixth day of Sukkot, Parim Shmona, there were eight bullocks sacrificed. And this is exactly the day where he's released and the terrorists. And this is the day also related to Yosef, who is the sixth visitor in the Sukkah. And as we mentioned, that the kidnapping of Gilad Shalit appears in the story of Yosef was taken by the Ishmaelim, the Arabs, sold to Egypt. 
So everything really is going with the story. Shichur Mechavlim, the release of the terrorists, and on the sixth day it is really the end of the word Mechavlim, which is exactly today, which is exactly the day that those terrorists are released, and we can see here that those are Hamas. This is a Hamas, definitely. This is a Hamas which appears here. And together with the day, there is, as we know, that those terrorists, the cruel terrorists, are from the Hamas. Now, as this table contains here the word Seirizim, you can see Seirizim, Seirizim, Kabbalist says, the Bilagoyan says, that Seirizim, really the Medos says that Seirizim, which is really he got, or some say this is really she got, represent the Arabs, Ishmael, while Seir by itself represent Edom. So Seirizim represent the Arabs, because the Arabs and Edom, there are two families, one of the Arabs, which is Seirizim, and Seir by itself, it is a dome. So we have your Seirizim, who is really against this power of the Arabs. Now, when we go further, we see many times the Seirizim appears here, bullocks, and our rabbi tell us really that the offerings of the bullocks was decreasing. It started with 13, goes into up to the 7th. Bullocks in the end, together if you add 13 plus 12 plus 11 so on, you come to 70, indicating to the 70 nations of the world which are decreasing. Now, what we see more here in the table, when we go down to the table, you can see some more things coming, and this is really also the continuation, which is interesting. You have here the word Mechablim. And Mar, bitter, the word bitter, has to do with this again, the Hamas appears here. And the most interesting is that you have, right in the end of this sentence, a bitter terrorist, you have the ear, A Taf Shin Ein Bet, 72 years of creation, which is exactly this ear, so it's already expressed the time, and this ear, by the way, this is the minimal appearance in the Book of Numbers, and the second one in the Old Torah, which means it is very, very significant to have the date 8 of Shinai and Bet with the terrorists which was released on this day. Now, as we believe, as we, you know, we should believe, we know that the heavenly angels, who definitely those ones, the bad ones, are those one of the Satan, the Satan, and the name is Samech Mem Aleph Lamed. We don't pronounce this name because the name of the angel, evil angel, which really is a angel of the Amalekite, and Hamas, the Kabbalah, have the two letters Samech Mem, which have to do with this heavenly angel. And this heavenly angel, the definitely has to do with sins, when Jews are sinning, they give him a lot of power, as is written, because he's also the angel of Amalek, and the Satan, goes together, and when Jews are sinning, unfortunately, they are giving a lot of power to this one, which is Hamas, Hamas, unfortunately, was so successful, to get what they wanted to get, this terrorist, but Jews will do Tshuva, as we have here, also in the table, the word Tshuva, right, really on top, which is really the time of Sukkot that we are now, which is a time of Tshuva, repentance, as is written in books, this is a time of Tshuva, of repentance, of love to God. So if Jews will do Tshuva, definitely they will not have all these problems, because Kabbalah says that every sin that Jews are doing creates another terrorist, so those terrorists are the result of our sins, you know, breaking Shabbat, breaking the Odyssey and all this country, bring terrorists, and to finish off the terrorists is only by finishing off sins. 
So unfortunately, this really should be the main work to get rid of this series, not to have this terrible, cruel terror attacks which are taking place. Only by doing proper tshuva and not giving power to this evil angel, the sun, which appears here, because all this teaches us that all this terrorist is much, much deeper, that this thing is, cannot be solved by politics, definitely very, very difficult to do so. Not only people, unfortunately, yeah, the family is there, which I know very well. I was with them a lot in Holland when I was a Shaliach there. Wonderful family, which lost so many parents, brother, sister, and no doubt this is a terrible thing and a lot of tragedies behind this case, but we should know that this is a result of our sins, what this Kabbalah says, this is what the Torah says, we are doing sins, Amalekite becomes strong, and then Hamas, and the Islam becomes strong, so the only way to get rid of this, that we will not get this people back, is only by doing tshuva. So let us really learn this table properly. It's a big table, a very, very interesting one. As we said, appears in not such many verses, every 81 letters in the line. And to study it properly and to know that this is the only solution to our problems, no politics, no all kinds of other things, only tshuva. So really let's accept and hope and pray that the result of this coincidence about these bullets, about the gods which represent these angels. And by this, by doing tshuva, we'll have Mashiach coming soon in our time.